Zero Mile is a Terminus Media production. If you would like to know more about Terminus Media, please head on over to TerminusMedia.com. Now, on with your show. Hi, welcome to Zero Mile, your final stop in Atlanta's geek culture. I'm your host, Kelly McDaniel, and these are my co-hosts. Zonga Fielding. And I'm Chris Cowan. And we are here to bring you the news for video games and esports, or video games and esports, Chris. <laughs> oh, sue me. Um, for the week. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have some Pokemon Go news. As you may or may not know, there is the Water Festival going on. Everyone has their lovely, fashionable Magikarp hats. Um, the reason we got the Magikarp hats is actually to make... Uh, it's kind of a celebration for the, for the very first shiny Pokemon in the game. Um, as you know, in Johto uh, Gold and Silver, you had a chance to get some shiny Pokemon in hopes of getting, um, you know, shiny evolutions with awesome stats and fun colors, such as the red Gyarados. And if you do get a Magikarp, I'm not sure how many shiny Magikarps you need, but they're about one shiny is first uh, as 220 regular Magikarps. I think you just need to have the shiny be the one you evolve, but you still okay. need like the 400 Magikarp there, yes. candy. You still need the 400 Magikarp candy, but as long as you have that shiny, you will get a red Gyarados. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on the stats, um, so I think right now it's just it's a very pretty, pretty different colored Gyarados. Yeah. I mean, I do have the Pikachu with the party hat and the Santa hat Pikachu, so... You really like Pikachu's. Yeah, you do. I mean, it's variety, and that's the spice of life. Mm. So. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> I don't, sorry. I'm like kind of like, what are Pikachu's doing with my Magikarps and my Gyaradoses? But um, the special event ends on March 29th at mm. 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So definitely go go out, venture forth, and find those shiny Magikarps. Because mm-hmm. I want to see all the red Gyaradoses. Yeah. Also, it says Team Valor. According to mm. Niantic, you're supposed to get a guaranteed evolution item if you hit a seven day Poke Stop but streak. See, everything I'm showing about that is it basically one to two percent chance of actually getting those after your seven day streak. I know you got two, yeah. Chris. I got I got one on my. He seven got day all streak. of them. Is what happened. So he was the 98%, and now all the rest of us have to go search for them. Now I just need the Pokemon that goes with that evolution item. I got the thing to upgrade a Porygon, and I don't have a Porygon. So yeah, to get the Porygon too. Um, mm. I actually have a Porygon. I have a Metal Coat too. Man, why don't they let us trade? I don't know. Yeah, maybe so a future sad. update. Yeah, probably. So, a future update. viewers, let us know if you got your evolution items on your seven-day Pokemon. It's really stop. he got all of it for it all, for us all. Blaming me for mm-hmm. everything. <sighs> okay, next up. <laughs> 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 uh, Destiny will be releasing their final update, Age of Triumph, live uh, Tuesday, March 28th. So it's the end of the new content for Destiny as the development team shifts to working on Destiny 2. Hopefully um, it'll be better than the first one. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they will still be doing some so occasional work on the original true. while they transition over to the new one. So they'll probably still be doing some bug fixes for a while until they end of life it. Um, so that should be interesting. I'm not a huge Destiny player, so maybe 2 will finally get me further into the franchise. Possibly. Maybe. Well, in some interesting news, what I've brought into the station is, of course, has to do with GameStop. Um, well, the company is now closing 150 of their stores nationwide um, due to... It may be a sign of maybe healthy competition or, you know, who knows? Um, but their stocks have dropped by $20 as well as, well, probably from people opting to buy from, you know, th- stores like Best Buy, local open gaming Steam. stores. Yeah, Steam. It's a big one. <laughs> and of course, other online stores such as Amazon or eBay even. Um, but of course, I'm sure there are several other reasons why the company is, of course, shutting down these doors. Well, well I know, speaking just from personal experience as a manager of a retail store, although I worked with clothing, not video games, um, and as a manager, uh, it could also be based just on regular normal performance, especially because stocks dropped. They're the reason stocks drop. They mm-hmm. just have to figure out why. 
So they're going to be looking at every store to, with a fine tooth comb to see exactly what's going on to make their their stockholders feel like they need to drop that stock. And where that leads, that leads. I feel like a large part of it is Steam and digital sales because let's be fair, now you it's not even Steam. Now you can go on to Xbox. You know, you can go on your Xbox network, your PlayStation network, your all you know everything essentially and still download the game onto mm-hmm. your console if you want that rare hard to find game like you used to have to go on a website put in your zip code be like all right show me this game and it's like oh, 20 miles now it's like all right scroll scroll click buy exactly mm-hmm. so uh, although having a physical cartridge is kind of great because cartridge disc <laughs> a physical thing, if you will. Kids in your new fangled discs. Because <laughs> um, occasionally Xbox Live Do will go down. Do you blow on your disc, um, too? No. Oh, okay. No, I have, I have a microfiber cloth for that. I'm, I'm with the 20th century. Because <laughs> Xbox Live had a huge outage the other day, and nobody could play their games. It's, it's, so, Whoa, like... That's... You know, if you but bought it digitally even, and it's got to do the live verification, you can't do but, it. But even now with a disc, now it still won't play because it needs that internet access to play. Depends on the game and the yeah. console. Because yeah. a Tempo lot works of... fine. And so does Sony. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't have any DLC that needs online verification. Maybe not. Cough, cough, dragon. But H-pop. yeah, so, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a change of times. Change, and it it's also just stocks dropped. It's going to be... Yeah. the best solution to look at 150 stores to cut to save on their budget of course and i guess so where can we catch you guys well i'm on instagram at k mcdaniel 28 and on twitter at girl friday cause you can find me on twitter at mutant biscuit and you can always find me at zonga audio on twitter and if you have any suggestions on news content for video games or just want to uh tell us hey please send us an email at zero mile at terminusmedia.com. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. We will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.